I'll Make History is the second song on my Western Woman EP. Every cowboy. In writing an album about Kate, I had so much freedom in just kind of writing songs about little tidbits I'd read about or what I just felt inspired by and without much consideration of will this make sense in the context of a story arc and characters and plot. There was a song on the record called The Perfect Gown, and we couldn't quite make it fit into the show. And part of the issue is I think the record was written with a lot of two sides to each song, where there's a lot of Kate inspiration and then kind of this sneaky secret way to write about my own baggage. And that song in particular, um, as we tried to fit it into the show, felt much more like a Neela message than a Kate message. And, um, you know, a lot of that song, the heart of it is is kind of putting on a face and being polite and uh, things, you know, pressures that I've felt before as a woman moving through the world, um, that sometimes it's easier to be decorative. Um, and I don't think Kate operated that way at all. She was very much herself at all costs. And so um, I had to write a new song for the show, <laughs> which was I'll Make History. Sort of the opposite problem was happening with coming out of the musical and trying to make studio renditions of these where um, I felt like this one just sounded a little bit cheesy um, in an album context and um, luckily my very super cool friend M. Ward <laughs> came in <laughs> and fixed it with all of his cool guitars. I, would rather be too I tend to lead with like a lot of earnest energy and so it's uh, it's nice to, to kind of pair myself with um, more subtle musicians and um, M. Ward who produced my record also, he's just um, such a gentle and kind person in the studio setting um, and generally, but um, he's a perfect kind of energy for me to work with because I'm always kind of questioning is this the right idea and he's very gentle while also guiding um, so often what's exactly the right choice. So I'm very grateful that he played on this track and fixed it. <laughs>